Training and Pruning in Cashew Cashew is a vigorously growing woody perennial tree. Naturally grown cashew trees produce many branches resulting in irregular canopy shape. This may affect sunlight entry into the canopy and lead to lodging of trees. Training and pruning practices are essential during the first 3 to 4 years to maintain the shape of tree and for good nut production. In the first year, the sprouts coming from the rootstock portion of the graft from below the graft joint should be removed frequently. The trees are then to be shaped by removing the lower branches and the water shoots coming from the base during the first 3 to 4 years. In general, Two types of training systems are being practiced in cashew, modified leader system and open center system. In modified leader system, the lateral branches are allowed to grow at desirable direction by detopping. The detopping height varies from 2.5 meter to 4 meter depending on spacing. Removal of crisscross branches and trimming of branches has to be done to get dome shaped canopy and the same should be maintained in later years by practicing mild pruning. In open center system, cashew grafts are allowed to grow straight up to 90 cm from ground level. The terminal growing point is pinched off to form lateral branches. The branches are then regulated to grow in four directions at equal distance. Canopy center needs to be opened once in a while to support more light interception to the interior plant paths. This encourages flowering at inner and outer spacing of canopy and thus increases the yield. This can be adopted in widely spaced plantations. Coming to pruning systems in cashew, the cashew plantation under normal and high density requires regular pruning to avoid unnecessary supply of photosimulates to unproductive shoot that is water shoots and weak branches. In cashew, trimming of exhausted branches induce productive growth and helps to promote the yield. In high density and ultra density planting systems, pruning operation plays a vital role to accommodate the canopy within the allotted space. Pruning and canopy shaping along with suitable special operations need to be taken up every year after harvest of crop. Cashew trees enter a distinct resting period after harvest from May to June till next flush production time that is from September to October. The lateral shoots which bears flowers or fruits are formed in the terminal of leader shoot after resting period. The past season leader shoots can produce only one lateral from its terminal. The pruning enhances the production of lateral shoots thus the yield can be increased. However, pruning intensity and time varies for different agroclimatic regions. The precautions in aftercare during training and pruning that needs to be followed are as follows. Training must be made in live tissues to facilitate good callus formation for rapid healing. Sharp tools should be used for implementing training or pruning to avoid damage to bark or phloem. After training or pruning, 10% bordeaux mixture paste swabbing should be done for large cut ends or 1% bordeaux mixture can be sprayed for pruned shoots. As a preventive measure, the pruned trees are to be sprayed with 0.2% lambda cyhalothrin twice or thrice in the initial 24 months of pruning. The tender shoots should be protected against T mosquito bug attack by spraying lambda cyhalothrin 0.03% that is 6 ml in 10 liter of water. There are different tools used for pruning as training and pruning done through manual methods is cumbersome in cashew. The different tools are cicatures which are used to prune lateral shoots and small twigs of 1.5 to 3 cm diameter, pruning saw which is used to prune small woody branches of 5 to 10 cm diameter, pruning shears and pole tree pruner 
which are used to prune 10 to 20 cm diameter up to its reachable height. Power of fuel operated chainsaws are used to prune woody shoots of any size. And telescopic power tree pruners are used to prune woody branches of smaller size up to its reachable height.